team of flight controllers belonging to the Orbit 2 team, which will take over operations within the hour, uh, carrying uh, the load uh, and overseeing uh, the rest of the crew day, the second uh, portion of the crew day. Roger that shows the extension uh, from the flight support uh, system structure at the rear of the cargo bay of the extension of the remotely controlled uh, electrical umbilical. The, uh, the three of us uh, right now. Roger that. Well, to be honest, uh, we've gone on the assumption that we're here to stay, that we're going to do our job, and we've uh, just kind of kept that thought foremost in our minds. There's been so much to do uh, to get ready for the spacewalks, the rendezvous and the spacewalks, that we just uh, kept ourselves busy and tried not to think about it since we don't have much control over it. So uh, we'll wait and find out what the final decision is. But till then, we're charging ahead full speed uh, with our eyes on the goal. Well, I think one of the things that astronauts and you know a lot of other professionals are very good at is compartmentalizing uh, certain types of concerns. And as, as Scott said, we've been extremely busy up here. It's been almost nonstop getting ready for uh, turning, well, turning Columbia into a, uh, a house in space in the first place uh, so that we can stay up here and now uh, getting ready for the EDAs, getting uh, the arm all tuned up and ready to go. That We haven't had a lot of time to, to ponder that, and we are going on a very success-oriented schedule up here. Of course, you know, we do know that it's a serious problem back there and one that uh, shouldn't be ignored, and so we're letting the, the smart folks on the ground really worry for us. And Jim, uh, you can just give us the SOP gauge reading and then you could press.